Can you believe that my stupid parents brought me on this cruise to celebrate their wedding anniversary? Don't they realize how embarrassing it is for me not to be going to Cancun with Kimberly and the others? What on earth will my friends think of me when I see them again? When I said, tell me about yourself, I didn't expect a life story. Whatever. Honestly, Brad, it's like my parents don't trust me. They treat me like a child. That's the last thing I'd do, Sonny. <gasps> oh my god! Mom, can't you see I'm sleeping here? Wasn't I just on the ship? Wait, there was a storm. Where is everyone? Just a minute. I'm on a beautiful beach. So there must be a first class resort nearby. Mom and Dad are sure to be there waiting for me. All that water. I must find a hotel and take a long soak in the bath. This is so cool. <laughs> I can hear the sea. That's just weird. I can still hear the sea. What a great souvenir! I can't wait to show my friends an actual wild coconut. I can collect the dripping water in this coconut. I have enough water now. There's a life vest here, but the color clashes with my outfit. The life vest is no use on land, but this tubing may be useful. Cute little boy. He must be one of the locals. I can't let him see me like this. I'd be such a bad influence with my makeup and hair in this dreadful state.
This must be the lifeboat that brought me here. I'd still be on the cruise ship if Brad Buckman hadn't been such a pig. Let's see if there's anything inside I could use. I almost had a heart attack. I found some rations. At least I won't die of starvation. Though it's hardly the five-star cuisine that I'm used to. What a cute little animal. He's even got his own handbag. Hey, wait a minute. That's my handbag. That looks worse than before. Fresh fruit. Maybe I can find a smoothie machine around here somewhere. It's full of exotic rations. You should try this delicious concoction. <laughs> Yay! He dropped my precious purse! You're just like Uncle Max. Always so fussy about food. I'll call you Max, too. Max the... whatever creature you are. Let's see what's in my purse. My makeup kit. My nail file. My body oil. My credit card. And my cell phone. I found some rations. At least I won't die of starvation. Though it's hardly the five-star cuisine that I'm used to. to find a professional beauty salon. But at least I can now put on my makeup. That's as good as I'm ever going to get without a first-class beautician. As soon as I find the hotel, I'm booking myself a complete makeover. Hello, young boy. I'm Sonny. Hi, old lady. You can call me Enrico. Old? I'll have you know that I'm 17. Sounds pretty old to me. Why, you? Can you please tell me where I am? I need to find my parents. You're on the beach, lady. You insolent little monster. I ought to paddle your behind. I wouldn't do that if I were you. My sister is the weightlifting champion of the island. Ugh. Could she be any less cool? So, this is an island? Of course. This is the Forgotten Island. Oh, it sounds so romantic. I just bet the hotels are filled with hunky waiters and bellboys. Uh, there's no hotel, lady. Nonsense. A beautiful resort like this will be overflowing with hotels, restaurants, bars. No, lady. None of that here. What about a mall? It's got to have a mall. Uh, I don't know what that is, but I I'm pretty sure we haven't got one. And I was so looking forward to the season's new lines. Where can I find a phone? I need to call my parents immediately. I don't know, lady. I don't even know what that is. Don't be stupid. Everyone knows what a phone is. I'm stupid? 
You're the one who's lost. So, what entertainment do you have around here? We have chicken racing on a Saturday night. Chicken racing? How gross. Well, we used to have shark racing around the bay, but the jockeys were always being eaten. Why are you sitting all alone, Enrico? You look sad. I'm fed up being 12 years old. I'll never grow up to be a man. When I was your age, I used to think the same thing. <laughs> you wanted to be a man? If you continue with your impudent ways, I'll make sure you never get to be a man. <laughs> I like you, lady. You're funny. Stop calling me lady. My name is Sunny. Okay, lady. Bye. There's no signal. How will I ever get the latest gossip from Kimberly? I can't even contact Mom and Dad. How wonderful! It's a themed resort! How cute! The resort has installed a fake shark in the bay. At least I hope it's fake. Aha! The treasure chest is mine! Now, where's Johnny D? Oh, it's locked! Still, there isn't much point of a chest if it isn't kept locked. Ugh, people are so thoughtless. A round heavy weight on a high shelf is dangerous. It's a very good reproduction. The Winsome Maid. <laughs> what an old-fashioned name. <laughs> the ship should have a grander name. It will when I'm finished. Now, stop pestering me and let me get on with my work. One moment, please. Good day, my lady. What can I... You were writing poetry? Uh, well, promise you won't tell anyone. Please. Why? Oh, you should be working. Well, no, no, it's not that. It's just, uh, private. I'm Sunny, and you are? I am known as Juan. Let me say what a pleasure it is to meet such a beautiful lady. A poet and a gentleman. Oh. Your hair is so blonde. It's like the afternoon sun reflecting off the ocean. Poetry is so romantic. I've always wanted to meet a real poet. I only write poetry to express my heart's desires. What could be more romantic than that? I wish others would see it that way. I need to find the nearest hotel. I'm pretty sure that's where my parents will be waiting. There is no hotel on the island. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. A beautiful resort like this is sure to have a five-star hotel. <laughs> no hotel. But the stars here at night are as beautiful as your eyes. Where can I find a phone? I can't get a signal on my cell. Huh? What the hell is that? <laughs> it's a cell phone, dummy. I've never seen anything like it before. This is the 21st century? Is it? I forget. Tell me about the island. Is it some kind of themed resort? Tell me what a resort is, and I'll be able to tell you if the island is one. A resort is where people take their vacation. You stay in a luxury hotel, take saunas, have a massage, 
and pamper yourself in beauty salons. Then there's swimming pools to relax by, beautiful beaches to stroll along, high-class restaurants to eat in, and exclusive clubs to dance all night in. Most importantly of all are the shops. No resort, in fact, no vacation, would be complete without spending a small fortune on designer shoes, clothes, and jewelry. We have the beautiful beaches, but none of that other stuff. Really? A beautiful island like this, in the right hands, would make a perfect resort and bring in lots of money for the owners. There's money to be made from resorts? <laughs> of course. A top resort would bring in millions every year. Please excuse me. Something important has come up. Perhaps we could meet up in the town later. Sure thing. It has been the greatest pleasure meeting you. Farewell, Sonny. There's nowhere to pay. Hmm. Maybe I can settle up at the hotel reception. All oh, that water. I can see a distant island. Perhaps that's the one with a five star hotel. Hi, I'm Sunny. I'm a new guest on the island. You must be staff at this resort, right? No, I'm Pablo the Painter. Oh, like Pablo Picasso. I have no idea. Does he paint ships? He's one of the world's greatest artists. Well, that's what they told me in art class. Art? <laughs> Waste of good paint. <laughs> the ship should have a grander name. It will when I'm finished. Now, stop pestering me and let me get on with my work. Can I go aboard the ship? One eye doesn't take kindly to trespassers. <laughs> what a strange name. Who's he? That's the owner. Named on account of him only having one eye, even Sanavivich. Oh, I see. And he prosecutes trespassers? Not before he nails them to the mast. <laughs> What can you tell me about that other ship, the big one? That ship belongs to Captain Morgan. She's a feisty one, that's for sure. Uh, where can I find a phone? <laughs> Don't know. Do you even know what one is? Nope. Are you all so stupid on this island? Is everyone so rude where you come from? Where's the nearest hotel? In the town. So there is a hotel then? Well, uh, only if you count the inn. See you later. Excuse me. Do you mind if I borrow your funnel? Help yourself. Thank you.